John Thompson doesn't have to prove he's innocent of misdemeanor obstruction charges, but he tried to explain to the jury what upset him the day he was arrested at North Memorial Hospital a year before he ran for the legislature. He and other family members weren't being allowed into the emergency room waiting area at North Memorial after hearing that the son of a longtime friend was brought there with self-inflicted gunshot wounds. They treated us like we were a threat. This is the African American experience is how I felt. This is our lived experience. We are treated with inhumanity and insensitivity. Robbinsdale Sergeant Chris Woodall testified Monday that Thompson pulled away initially when he tried to put the cuffs on him that normally it takes 15 seconds and it took 50 seconds and the help of other officers. Thompson said he only reacted because he was having arm pain from surgery. During cross-examination, the prosecutor asked Thompson about anti-police rhetoric that he's used at protest rallies, asking him if it's fair to say that he speaks in anger. Thompson says he's not angry, just passionate about civil rights. It was an effort by the prosecution to introduce footage of Thompson at a Black Lives Matter protest in Lieutenant Bob Kroll's neighborhood in Hugo last year. But the judge has already ruled out that footage because it's something that took place after the North Memorial incident that he's being tried for now. And that was John Croman reporting.